y'all see this punk <laughs> down here in the lower right hand corner of the screen? Y'all Look at his booty. Him? He's twerking it. That's good artistry. You see that? You see left cheek, right cheek, left, left cheek, cheek, right cheek. Left cheek. <laughs> booty butt, booty butt, <laughs> booty butt cheek. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dead. Oh okay. my god! You guys missed him totally jamming that. out to that intro there. <sighs> Good morning. I am so refreshed. Y'all just caught me right after that intro every time. I feel like I'm in the middle of the ocean with the sun coming up. There's a brisk breeze on my face. Anyway, hey hey. Welcome. This is Low Res Gaming. You're with Wrist and you're with Roy. And we're about to play some Secret of Mana. Oh, I'm so excited. This takes me way back. Like, this is one of my legit starter games. Well, I just... Uh, you, yeah, you, you backed out of it. No, nah, I waited too long. Oh, you waited too I long. I waited too okay. long. I've never actually played this game. I, I started once, and I didn't get very far at all. So, uh, this is going to be my first time, uh, as well as with you guys. Just like, uh, actually, Mario RPG was his first time. Right. Uh, with you guys, too. So, that's great. Yes, and this is going to be super fun. So I'll walk you through it all, and uh, let's get started. And no, his name is not <laughs> Jaakum. <laughs> I should just to spite you. He actually has a name, doesn't he? Yes, an it's unofficial like, mm, one. Well, it's official, but what like... What was it? It was... It was l l l l l l if I remember, I'm I will up. let you know. Thank you. I'm going to look it up, because I I need to tell everybody. Hang on. Secret of Yes, I can. Mana. You didn't get to do this back in the day, just so you know. Back when Super Nintendo was around, you could not look this shit up.
Randy, by the way, is his name, guys. Randy. R-A-N-D-I. Randy? Randy. R-A-N-D-I. Rand? Randy. We'll put a link down in the description for you guys. I guess this was the 90s. Yeah. His name could be Randy. <laughs> so, I'm also, kidding. It looks like, I'm not it hating. It looks like Chris isn't reading, so. Also, okay, so... <laughs> I will be doing some reading, but I will definitely not be doing voices, because, no, that's that's too much work. No. But anyway. I don't know the characters enough to do voices either. Like, I might chime in just to do it, but if we get to know a character, but not, it's, it, yeah. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, never mind, I won't back, I won't backseat drive. I'm not really going to do that. I mean, yeah, you backseat driving the hell out Shut of it. Up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. The elder will find us here, and he'll be mad. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. <laughs> they're they're all ethnically inclined. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you said I'm not do I'm not gonna do voices. That's too <laughs> much the first work. thing I, I do. Voice. <laughs> huh? Do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandpa say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Oh, little Timmy. Is it? Oh, his name is Timmy. It's Timothy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey, help! Oh my god, I can't have my balance. Yeah, I'd be falling too if I'm jumping on one foot on that. <laughs> right, on a big old log. He was jumping on one foot before he started falling. Ow. Just right. get right back up. All right. Bruh, these guys. Ow! Ugh. Well, there's no way to get back up there. Now what am I going to do? Let's go on an adventure and walk off that fall. Yeah, with no so, broken bones. Bruh. Okay, so we'll get to a little something called canon travel later. And th this game is just full of falls and breaks. Like, wow. they they have no no measure of physics in this game. You can't, you can't step over those lilies? So no, what the these hell? <laughs> lilies you can't step over, but it's better because they don't give you, there's not a lot of um, invisible walls here. They make walls present, so you know exactly where you need to go and Wait, how you, you can't need jump to do over things. them? Nope, there is no jump in this year RPG. My RPG, one, secret of mana, zero. Oh, sorry. The village in the, is this way. Uh, I have to find something to cut through. Okay. Sorry guys, we had to fix our, our in-game volume. Like, if to you it didn't change, but to us it was... Really right, loud. I kind of felt myself yelling a little bit. Yeah. And oh my gosh, okay, please excuse me, this is my first official Let's Play, and I'm not necessarily a narrator. So, we're gonna work on that though. Yeah, skill development, and I'm totally gonna have like a level up moment, and I'll like throw it right in the middle of my video, so you guys will know when I get better at my job. But anyway, we're also gonna have an extra count. So anytime he's extra, it's gonna show up on the screen, extra one. Can it just have like one infinity? It's like, gonna ha it's gonna happen. Why was... our goal is is a hundred by his third let's play. <laughs> you know what? Challenge accepted. <laughs> anyway, let's find out what this sword is doing. Why are you glowing? Cause I accidentally ran when I didn't need to. Oh, gotcha. And we'll get into why that is a thing later. Who are you? And what's this? <laughs> oh fuck. The light. It's so bright. I can't see. I can barely see that text. It's a ghost. Chris, it is I who asked the sword. The fuck? Ask the sword what exactly? <laughs> yeah, he's got the same. Say what? Right. <laughs> you mean this sword? <laughs> this one? I love the way he's holding it. That was some luminary shit just now. <laughs> Bruh. Pretty legit, right? The green light is gone in an instant. I have to get back. Or else that's that ass. That's that. <laughs> Village Elder gonna get you. And now we can cut things. Or you'll just get to... I can cut through this with sword. <laughs> so, some things you can cut. Other things you cannot. You can definitely cut the grass, but unlike any of the Zeldas, you don't find anything in it. You can literally just cut grass to cut grass. Also, this game has a has an attack mechanic. I think he's going to get into here in a second. Right now, actually. Whoa, what a place... Oh, excuse me. What's a <laughs> rabbi doing here in a place like this? So, it's a real-time gameplay... So it's kind of have a, has an auto dodge feature, 
um, you don't necessarily have to press anything. Um, you can freely move around. You can push them out of your way if you need to, so that's cool. Just know they will peg you from time to time. And the system works on percentages. So what happens is when I strike, you'll see the numbers going from 1 to 100. And if I were to strike again before that 100%, He's I won't do as much damage. damage. Yeah, like 1, 2, etc. But if I wait... Nice, right into 18. It. Very nice. So it's still free and open, but it it makes the fight worth it. So that way you can't just button mash your way through a fight. You have to actually kind of wait, figure some so things it's, out. So basically that 100% is your ATB gauge. It's your active time right, battle. So right, if you're familiar, right. Yeah, so it's 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 uh, it's basically the same as having to wait for your, your gauge to go up to attack. Uh, you can still attack without your gauge finishing up, but you can't really do a whole lot of damage with it. So it's definitely useful if you use it just right, as if you can see what I did just there. Uh, I had to cut my way through some grass, but that rabbite was right there. And so to kind of keep it from attacking me, I hit it anyway, even though I wasn't at necessarily 100%. And that kind of just kept, kept him off my back until I can get my stamina back and then went ahead and finished the job. So that's it's, it's a smart play if you know how to use it just right. Yeah, that's what I get for walking up on the enemy. I like how some of them, they, they, they pause for a little bit too once you attack them, so that's kind of nice too. Have I guessed <laughs> Okay. I love opening Candy! <laughs> Piece of candy. What the fuck kind of candy? Does it do anything special? And uh, I guess I can show you. Hold on, let me kill these guys. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. So you can attack multiple enemies at the same time. So if you line them up strike. just right and understand that this strike box is fucking huge. It looked like it. This actually. strike box like for big. all of these enemies is huge. So yeah. uh, sometimes you don't even need to be on them, right. and sometimes you'll use weapons that uh, don't even need to be used, or it doesn't look like they would hit somebody, still hit somebody. But anyway, so this is really cool. So it works off a circular uh, menu system. I think that's super. One, so. so there's no menu screen like this is it like it's, right it's a, it's a hud that pops up and it's an overlay sorry it's see, overlay no, that was excellent you see i couldn't explain it better myself so yes it has a hud or an overlay an overlay hud either way um so if you go up and down you kind of actually yeah. go through oh, all cool. of your features nice. so one thing i actually particularly okay hold on let's get to candy first because we actually just got that in the chest so candy heals your hp Use it on me. Okay. So pretty. So uh, let's back up a little bit. HP. What what button is it to uh, to open that radio menu? So you're looking at Y. Okay. Y will open your menu, and this has a two and a three player option. So back on the NES, they actually came with an adapter that you can plug in, and it gave you multiple player options. Mm. So you could eventually, or essentially, play with three characters, and you will get three characters to play in this game. Not any more than that, but it's a comfortable number, especially with the play style. It's totally worth it. Um, but as you get other players, and if you have another friend that plays with you, they can use the menu option just as freely as they want, and it's a good thing, because spoiler alert, secretly not a spoiler Spoiler, but this character can't use magic. I had to think about whether I wanted to actually tell you or not, but secretly, you'll find out sooner than later, so I'll just tell you now. Yeah, this character does not use any kind of magic. So if you're a magic user, you might want to wait for one of the other two characters. But still, this guy's pretty legit. I love him, and he'll actually be the what character. What did you do just then? I'll to be switch to that next using menu. up down, up down, okay. up or down, up so down. you can go either way. Gotcha. Okay. And um, if you run out of items, that HUD layer will not show up. Oh, where the candy was. If you don't have any items, there's no... there's no, Okay, so it just skips it. That's so, nice. right. It'll go straight from yeah, weapons I guess that'd be confusing. to magic to stats. And speaking of stats, so this is an RPG, so you have equipment. Um, you have specific targeting. You have stats. You have your level for both your... Uh, you personally don't level up, but your weapons will get something called orbs, mana orbs, and you will level those up, and that really helps dictate. Um, if you don't level up, how do you gain stats? Like, how do how do you gain like more HP, more defense and stuff? Oh wait, I lied. You do level up in this game. Ha 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 ha! My bad, wrong game. Anyway, his own damn game. I... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's okay. I did the same thing with Mario RPG. You guys were there for it. I um, where was I? 
Oh, anyway, okay, so with this level, you check your weapons and your magic. This, you check your character's stats. So what I love about this is it actually has some customizable features. So we can actually edit this uh, text window so that it looks exactly how I want it. And secretly, actually, I think we're going to get rid of those lines, and that'll help me read a little better. But we'll leave that border just as it is. And then right. there is a controller edit. So what this is, is you can actually customize exactly how you want your gameplay to be as far as um, games go. But we're going to leave this as is. Oh, God. And then action. So your action grid. When you get other characters, you'll be able to place them somewhere on the grid and you will be able to better dictate their movement. So this is something to keep in mind too. It's actually particularly kind of cool. And if you see um, on the right hand side, you'll see the number zero and it's kind of surrounded by a blue box. As your weapon levels up, um, you'll see numbers one through nine show up. And after you've chosen what you want your character to do as far as actions go, it will ask you what level you want, and then um, your character will charge that weapon's special attack up till that number and then attack after that. But mind you, they will only attack using that specific level on their weapon. So that's something to be mindful of too. But again, we'll get into that later, but this is something that uh, uh, when I first started playing, I didn't see a lot of, and I thought it was really cool how they laid it out. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Uh, anything else here that I can talk about real quick? Not particularly, no, because we'll get here sooner yeah. than later anyway. Alright, let's keep going! Nah. Oh, that's Weapon so skill much up. better. Sword reaches level 1. Something you were just talking about. Honestly, guys, I could sit in this this first little area for hours, and it's only because this soundtrack is immaculate. There's not a song I don't love. There's not one song that I could say is not worth listening to for hours in this game. Candy! I, I definitely enjoyed that intro track. That was really nice. Yeah. Get out of here. We'll yeah. leave a, a link in the description for the composer. You guys want to look at the music and stuff? Yes. See, I just got a level up. Yeah. Yeah, that two. refreshing brew running. Yeah, I completely and forgot it, about it that. And it healed that your HP too, and also raised you. Yes. Nice. So you guys are gonna see me doing this a lot. I'm sorry if it just irks your nerves. I'm sorry. It's been a habit since like my conception. I can't not cut this grass. I kind of do that with uh, Link to the Past a lot. Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, one of the games on our list. Oh, dope. So then I'm not alone. I am not alone. I better stop. I'm not trying to get copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna, trying to get no copyright. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now is actually I'm going to go back and forth a little bit. Uh, just kind of get my level up, see if I can get some more candies from these mugs. And we'll pick up in just a second. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> All right. So we're here. We're about to go into the next screen. So check me out. I'm officially at level three. I just wanted to get some some real boost to HP. me real quick. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to blur out his HP. It's terribly inappropriate. <laughs> um. So yes, this is the setup for each character. It will show up a different color, so that's kind of cool. Um. And yeah, that's it. That's it. And uh, so if you see this mana power under where the character box is, just under their mana power. So as you collect those things I had referenced earlier, the yeah, mana orbs, they will show up there. And there will be two different ways you can see them. One um, will be when you just have it, but it will not be activated. And then once you actually awaken the orb, then it will change a little bit. But you guys will see as we progress on. But I just kind of wanted to let you know, just keep you in the, in the know real quick. Uh, there was something else I was going to show you. Uh, it's not important. Let's keep moving. Hey, we're in town. I never got here. This is not... <laughs> I oh didn't. I'm not You didn't kidding. get to town to I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know how to get out of where I was. It's weird. So oh, you, he's running. So you do have a run feature. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, except you may only run linearly. So if you have to run, choose a direction and get there. 
because you cannot a little wonk. use your directional pad while running. Um, and it does activate your stamina bar. So once you run on any particular distance, even if you accidentally press it, it will still have to go from 1 to 100 before you can effectively use your attack again or before you can run again. So that's something to be mindful of. Did you see that, Chris? I like that feature. You'll get used to it, and so that how it, that's how it kind of tailors your gameplay, which is why I like this. Okay. Uh, did you see that, Chris? A minute ago, something lit up the sky near the falls. So, because you put your name in all caps, you just need to yell your name every time you read it. <laughs> you see that, Crest? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today, Crest? I could do that. I have a real bad feeling about this. Um, I'm actually pretty good. It's a, it's a Tuesday, like. I like the sprite setup though. It's really nice. I might. Ha I I love this. Let me look at these. These are nice. I have to use some yeah, of these. See everything? RPG Got the active maker. fire. And so, I like it. if you watched our intro vid, this, what you're seeing here, is the exact reason why we love these retro games. You're still getting an entire story. It's not this high resolution, everybody's always pretty and shining and things. Like I was talking about earlier, it's, it's a really solid base. It's great. Like, I mean, you know that you know that that's fire right there. You know that that's a teapot right. right there. You know that that's a flower vase. You know that that's a shelf that's got some stuff on it. You understand it's, the depth and, of everything in here? Yes. And I guarantee you that that flower vase right there, like, again, you can tell it's got a bunch of flowers on it. And I guarantee you that's probably, I want to say, 16 by 20 pixels right there. And that's all it is. And that and that's pretty great. You know, they, they, they can do so much with so little, you know. Right. No matter how limited they were, they gave you a world. And, and it's awesome. It's really cool. So I didn't bring, I didn't touch on that in, in my RPG, but I love seeing stuff like this. Hey, Chris! <laughs> Stop playing with that sword before you hurt somebody. Remember this game has fucking Tourette's. <laughs> Tell me what to do with my sword, woman. I found this out in the wilderness. I do what I want. I'm grown. So, um, much like many other games, there are no random items found in any of these pots. They are not breakable. You can't use your weapons or magic unless it's curative magic in town. But we'll get there. Is there anything in the pots sometimes? No. There's what? nothing in the pots. You can't break oh, them. Man. They're just decorative. But they're an excellent decoration. Oh, hey, we're out of shop. Rest <laughs> on an errand for the elder. That's how we're along. So we can... gold pieces. Yes, sir. GP gold pieces. So uh, you collect money by killing enemies. Super simple. Either collect enemies, or excuse me, collect enemies. Either kill enemies or sell your Gotta armor. Gotta catch them all. Candy overalls. See. Nice. Wait, do I have both of these? I think I have overalls already. Oh, you think you have both of them on already? I think that I would have be unfortunate overalls. that you just did that. We gonna see. Well, let's check it out. It's, it's okay. I'm not stressed about it. Like, you gonna mess around and get so deep in the story that you go back to a shop and be like, where'd all this money come from? Right. So, this is cool because it's one of those games where I don't stress about money. So, this is honestly probably one of the better reasons. I know, I'm trying to talk to the people. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> he forgot for a second. He okay, really I don't. So, oh, okay, so I was right. I do have okay. the overalls. So you can see that the character's profile face is next to the stuff that they actively have equipped. Cool, now you got that equipped too. There's nothing else here I need. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Are we? Are we back? In I like to think so. I, ap I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> See, I definitely like that better. Personally. If you got if you actually if you guys actually prefer it the other way, let us know in the comments below that you, you didn't like the background there. We did change the border. Um, yes, because the border's super delicious. I, I was having a hard time with it being so clear in the background. I was just like, we need something there. Um, we went through a couple different colors and I feel like blue is is better personally. But if you guys if you guys want it changed, let us know. Chris, the elder was looking for you. What did you do this time? Have you seen my HP? <laughs> I was getting them levels, girl. I was getting them levels. Getting them levels. 
Why, is, why are all the shopkeepers dancing? You'll find out, actually. That's a You'll real thing. You'll find out, yes. Okay. 5G, wanna stay? Yo, I got you. 5GP, sir. You had a bright ass light. Oh, extra cap. Yeah! And yes, we are going to save. Yeah. And yes, we will save over that. And yes, we will save over that. He played a previous game. I did, because I missed he it was, so he was much. catching some stuff. You totally just got a sneak peek into the future! <laughs> future! <laughs> the future! I'm sorry. I totally had a Sailor Moon moment. She was trying to go into that house. Did you see that? She was lost. She didn't know what she was doing. There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Oh, for real? Let me go see. Let me go see who in my town. Who in my town. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're already at, what, three now on that count? <laughs> Maybe. That guy seems to be a knight from somewhere. What's he doing here? I don't know, Becky. Let's go find no. Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Give me the four wood one. Oh, it's you. Rest! Elliot was pale and talking, uh, excuse me. Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? What's he talking about? What's he talking what about, talking Chris? About? What's he talking about? I know. <laughs> he was pale and talking about you? his own stuff. It looks like that guy from behind. He's a the, the ghost that uh, we saw with the sword thingy. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. I can't do that twice. But so. he is just mad. Mad. He's so his you best friend, think I'm not dude. You, you sure? I'm gonna ask you. Okay, he good. His two best friends are dude and bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, th this is a full ass town. It's tiny, but it's full. You literally have everything you need. It's the perfect starter town. But does anybody actually have a house? Yeah. Like, you know, you've got like you've got all these people and only like one actual house. So this is a house. They probably live in their shop. Right, uh, but what about all bar. these other people? There's what? one house. Maybe they just shack up in the same house. <laughs> I don't know 100% now. We even got security. We got security, man. Help! So shitty security. Help! <laughs> Both of us are out of the village. Something's wrong. <laughs> security. Uh, we better stay inside. Okay. He says, well, he stays outside in the running position. See? Still a good security. <laughs> he prepared. He's prepared. Did I already talk to you? Yes, you did. Looking for you. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's talk to the elder. What I do? I said talk. <laughs> Rust! You're not hurt! They just told me what happened! Whoa! <laughs> That's a voice. I thought she was the daughter. <laughs> I tell you, it was stupid to bring someone like him along. I tell you, it was stupid. You hear this? Where'd you tell him not to go there? Uh. Rust! That's your name. <laughs> <laughs> What's that you have? Oh no. What could it be? Scoot the mic back a little bit. <laughs> cool. Did you find the treasure? <laughs> Way to go. So I'm going to add one to this count. Because he said he wasn't going to do voices. I totally know. I'm doing all the voices. Totally there's probably <laughs> extra. A, there's probably <laughs> so much inconsistency with this these voices. But I'm having so much fun. So We're just in, ride with me. Guys. Guy. Ride with me. Okay. And secretly, that way to go is an inside joke, and you'll see why. <laughs> what have you done? How could you have pulled out the medicine? It's impossible. Impossible. <laughs> the, oh, my bad. The Manasaur, legend has it that our village is finished. If, if the sword is removed, and here it is. It is said that the man sword <laughs> has been protecting our village from disaster. Disaster. So what? So that's it? That's all the monsters are attacking us now? Oh, that's why all the monsters are attacking us now? I can read. Are you having trouble reading because of the blue background? I'm not going to complain. It's okay. <laughs> uh, how could you? An outsider like you. 
yank out the sword, and bring doom to us all. Yeah, fuck doom. you, Randy. <laughs> I mean, Chris! <laughs> okay, fuck you, Randy. <laughs> That's great. Oh, oh hey, get him smacked up. Stab him with I, your sword. Hey, hey, stop it. You did it. You did it. I'm going to stab you with it's my sword. It's your fault. Are you running away or is he, are you just Yeah, he's backing up. See, look, he's doing the right thing. Like, I don't even back up. Back... Oh, shit. Earthquake. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to shake <laughs> the camera. Don't shake the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to reset it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He said, ah, how did I say, oh, shit. Hello, I'm Master! Uh, you have a sword that you me! Yummy! Uh, I don't know what the fuck to do! I don't know what the fuck to do! <laughs> Can you hear he, me? He's scared. Watch how the monster moves before attacking. Or nah. He crab walks. Uh, the hell? He just used acid breath on me, bro. Oh, nice. I was not paying attention, I was crab walking. You! Nice! I saw that flip! You! Not me! There not me! Not today! Just flip it oh, around shit. that oh, shit. shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh yeah, shit! Oh shit! That's some damage! Acid breath again? Damn! Oh, you Bye. flipped out of it! Oh. <laughs> Bruh! Okay, look! Come on, Mantis Ant! What? That's the name of the enemy. His name is legitimately Mantis Ant. Is he, is he, is he pumping? Is that what he's doing? Yes! Pumping! Pumpin'. Way to go! Oh, so that's your victory thing, is way to go. Got swords, orb! Yo! Yeah! You did it! Right there, I'll pull you up. See? Which I could have done earlier, but decided not to. <laughs> and did you fight the giant mantis that I knew was down there? Oh, did you want me to go back in the hole? No, <laughs> you're fans, fine! You're too young! Something must have happened to the mana sword to let an idiot like you pull it out. Oh, here, it's yours. I don't even want it. Sorry. <laughs> Tough shit. The sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. Put it back in the hole. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. Uh, so what should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. She old. Um, is that guy having some issues coming down the stairs? Okay. Yes! Oh, shit. That is me. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. <laughs> he jumped He's like, fuck. The wants you in his house. <laughs> Well, I have to be off. My name is Gemma. I thank you for saying that, right? I was gonna punch you in the jugular. You call me Gemma. Weird. My name is Gemma. <laughs> I'll I wait for you that. inside the water palace. Come out. Goodbye. <laughs> Get gone. Rude. Get gone. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Elder, we can't go out like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Chris, that's your name. <laughs> You've really done it to me this time. Oh, you don't sound so old anymore, Elder. He had a moment to himself. He wasn't trying to yell at these kids. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why monsters have appeared is I lost it. <laughs> because uh, you done fucked the up. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed this hole. It's that, uh... We can't let Chris stay in the village anymore. If we do, the monsters will come after him. Go! Get out of here! Yeah, on your way now. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. Wasn't he an outsider anyway? He was adopted in, yeah. Oh, he was adopted? You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. 
Use the help. Use the help. Use the help. Heading out. See you later. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Are you gonna whack it on her head? <laughs> Sometimes it happens. 193 gold. I found that happened money. fast. You must have got 100 from that boss or something. Probably. I took you in and I reached you, but there's nothing I can do to help. That's a bullshit lie. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before. But your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. Hope you guys can hear him. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Chris. <laughs> you almost I'm shouted it. Really... <laughs> I didn't realize uh, before that all the names are in caps, so that was just it was just something I didn't notice before, and it's kind of funny though. All right. You should not Java Java Java. Do I have I everything did. you need? I guess yes. I do. Go get the fuck out. <laughs> Pretty much, actually. You are hereby banished from Patos Village. They just legit kicked this guy out of his home. They did. Like all of them together. And we're back at it. Oh, see, look, it's a little sign. Canon Travel, Travel Center! Center. Canon Travel. Go check it out. We're not actually going anywhere, but let's go check it out. This guy looks pumped. This is whole cannon! That's a cannon. Man. I know. Ha! Huh. We're the cannon travel, brother. We're building a global network. That is not the voice I was expecting for that. Man. Going to the water palace? Jim is already in it. He paid your way to hop in. Oh, you are going in it. No thanks! What? Because I'm going to show y'all the landscape. Landscape? If you want to walk to the water palace, head back. Okay, we can see that. Let's go! Yeah, we're going on a whole adventure. I guess we walk it. Get that cardio in. Get them steps. <clears throat> and you get to. Oh, the, hey, the yo! Second... It's a moving flower. Yo, these things are creepers like that that are actually pretty good at their job. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Water, Water palace. palace. Patos village. Patos village and Kingdom of Pandora. Are you sure it's like Kingdom of Pandora? It could be the Kingdom of Pandora. I don't know. <laughs> That's some HP you guys got there. He just spore out his ass. He showed it. What? Wait, oh my god! You just you just walk right into that. Bro, they're so fucking hard to get into. Their tag box is huge too. Like they are. So... You are not paying attention. You are poisoned now, and you don't have anything to fix it. It's fine. Right. Oh, you just you just get out of poison? Yeah, it's timed. It's oh. very short. Okay. But sometimes still enough because they have a a high efficacy rate. Oh, okay. And then we will go ahead and move on forward. And then we're gonna take a small break. I'm gonna do a little bit more power leveling, and then we'll go ahead and move on. Just a wee bit. Wait. I'm a ah, I'll show you his house after. Wait. Everybody stop. And look at the screen. Look at that cat. And tell me what he's doing. Wait a minute. If you guessed he's putting down and picking back up a bag, you're right. This a fool fucking played hat. this game for <laughs> years and thought he kept picking up and putting on a hat. It's a hat to keep him That is cool. not a damn hat. It doesn't even look like a damn that hat. Is a hat. It's a big no. old hat that you put on to stay out the sun, and he just it's fed, not even on top he of his fed head. himself with it's it. It's not even on top he of his head. himself. This fool. I mentioned to the I said, I said he I said he just picks, keeps putting down and picking up that bag. He went bag. Right. Oh my <laughs> god, it's a bag. <laughs> I'm like, really? Really? Uh, it's been a hat this whole time. Like, uh, yeah, it suddenly has straps and everything. Like, what and you it, got? It changes for I don't know. <laughs> this man is an entrepreneur, so he sells some of the best items in the game. Um, he'll let you save, and if he's at his home base, he will let you sleep. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, he is there too. 
just now. I'm a stay. 30 oh GP. God, two gold pieces left after this. Yes. You broke motherfucker. Get some serious light shining on you. You don't even dim. <laughs> I am the light? So bright. You can use a wand. You're bright. Oh my god. If you guys haven't seen that movie, check it out. I think it's great. Got Will Smith. Alright. We'll be right back. And we're back. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. I was looking up the composer. I'll right. put it down in the description. We already talked about that. We need a whip to go through the shortcut to the castle of Elin, the witch. Eleni. He said Elin. I say what I want. Gosh. That's Major Dylock. That's Major Duck. <laughs> Dylock. <laughs> His Dilek. mission it's will be Dilek. full of danger, but we'll do our best. Come on, Dad. Major Dylock, all set. Dylock. <laughs> right. Let's go. There it is. Water oh, Palace, yay! I love this place. Is this guys. is this gonna give me uh, war flashbacks to uh, Ocarina of Time? God no. Okay. God no. These palaces are simple in nature. Okay. What's over Where are you here? Going? Are you what? Some force is holding us back. I'm Chorus. What could be in there? What is in there? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh. Not right now, at least. You'll find out. And in not too long, actually. Let's go, Chris. Oh, sorry. That's it's fine. fine. <laughs> I just decided to be on top of my game. Because <laughs> he's playing a game. This place, I love these sprites. These are nice. I get what they were trying to do, but it does look a little funky. I love it. What the fuck is this? So, now what? Hey you, where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Uh, what? You mean this girl is 200 years old? Oh, no. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. He fought several. I know. <laughs> the ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. This is so great. <laughs> I love every bit of this. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. <coughs> when he the did, the balance of mana in this area shifted, and monsters revived. I'm spitting all over this man. <laughs> there are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the man's sword. By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. Remember that sword's orb you got? That's what that's for. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains the power from the mantis ant. Ant mantis. Mantis ant. Mantis there must, <laughs> there must be more hidden orbs which hold the mana power for the sword. And you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Okay. Once I was one of Luca's followers. I studied the power of mana, such which which sustains everything in this world. He had a senior moment. I, I did. <laughs> senior moment. Are real things and very serious. Except he should not be having them. He should not be having them. He should not be having them. <laughs> I should not be having them. <laughs> like just then, I had another one. <laughs> We're talking about someone other than me. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, we gotta talk to him again. <clears throat> Gemma, or Hema. <laughs> Watch out for the Empire. <laughs> it seeks to obtain the Man of Fortress. You mean the one that destroys the world and all the fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seats. Because Gestal's an asshole. A bunch of... You guys will know what we mean by that. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. 
I kicked one in the dick the other day. She probably did. <laughs> Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? <gasps> the gasp. I don't know and I don't fucking give a shit, Gemma. <laughs> See the King of Pandora and tell him the to be cautious. <laughs> right, sorry. I'm on my way. My voice changed. Sure. Rest! You go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. It's her belly button. Dwarves live in that cave. They make good weapons and know all about weapons because they make good, good weapons. weapons. <laughs> they may know somebody who can reforge and empower the sword of yours. That guy's cool. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. Because that's how swords work. They do! You'll get better at using a sword when your sword gets better. <laughs> it's magical. Okay. It's automatic. Fist! What are you so scared of? The sword? The fortress? I don't know. Power? Or power? The power. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It used to it used its last ounce of power to summon you. You know, when you fell off that fucking log, <laughs> that wasn't you falling off. It was like, get over here, bitch. <laughs> you got snatched you off got a log <laughs> about 30 feet up. <laughs> you know why you didn't break your back? Because it's mana broke your fall. Just Plot maybe. holes have been fixed. Oh my god, if Luca sees all of that, she's like, I'm going to snatch his ass down, it's but I got it. <laughs> why me? Power. Oh. <laughs> yeah, mm, different fetches. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are not Why did it choose me? Fuck if I know. <laughs> but now you must re, re energize it. Okay, I guess we do in then. So, what do, I, what do I do? Fuck if I know. <laughs> you must become a hero as worthy of the sword. Uh, That's a lot of me? dialogue options for this. Okay! Okay, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> Enough. Hold the sword up to the seat. Stab it. This? Stab the seat. For a moment, the seat and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seat <laughs> with your mana sword. You have sealed the mana, mana <laughs> seat with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seat will be sent only to you and your sword. That's right, you're gonna take my seat. Oh my god. <laughs> You'll be able to gain power from the man of seed whenever you wherever you are, I meant to say. I had a seat you all meant. The world is eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from all from all of them. <laughs> take this spear with you too. Man of Guardians used it long ago. Received spear! Yeah. <laughs> it will grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. Now get the fuck out of my palace. Pretty much. There must be more <laughs> weapons like this spear in the world. Find them. I'll kill you. You yes. want to save your game? I do want to save your game. This is a game. game. You crotchety Did you ass character. You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Show me some goddamn respect. You fucking crotchety ass old oh, First, lady. head for Gaia's belly button. Like Gemma said. Look for the underground palace. And don't be a dick about it. I do what I want. To reach Gaia's belly button, head south <laughs> through the realm of Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh. No, we're good. We just saved. Yes, I know. Let you me repeat it. myself, because no. you're an asshole. See if you was gonna give me something special. Gosh. Alright. We're on our way to the navel. We're on our way to the belly button. And as we begin our journey to the belly button. We're going to call it right there. Ah, we are out of time for this episode. No. Yeah. Why? We're out That's of time. Fun. Guys, moral of the story, don't do drugs. We're not playing Mario RPG. Moral of the story, <laughs> if anybody starts to mess with you, <laughs> punch him in the Jump face. Jump off a fucking log <laughs> and get a goddamn sword. Punch him in the face. Or kick him in the dick. Thank you for watching, thank you for playing, thank you for being involved, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.